Hey guys, I just got out of the ARC store. I think I surpassed my limits right now because my whole entire truck is fat. Stay tuned, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with all that stuff that I got. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about the stuff I bought at the ARC store. I have a bunch of stuff for you guys to can see that you guys can decor your home in an affordable price and some of the stuff you can buy and resell, uh, refinish and resell for a good profit. And we're gonna start by these, showing it these cups. This cup has like letters on here. Usually you can, fi you can find these cups on online or the uh, Good Homes for $8 to, to, to $10. And the brand, and I say that because the brand is uh, Ray Dunn and is our artist collection. And then you can see all over when you're looking for farmhouse decor. Um, I bought a total of five cups, and each one of it was $1.99. I was thinking to keep them myself because my home decor is farmhouse decor design and um, I also got some chickens that I wanted to show you. These chickens you can find them at the home goods and usually they're like $15 each. I bought two of them here. And then each one of it was 99 cents. And this is a pretty affordable uh, home decor um, that I can show you how you guys can decor your house with. So I bought this box. It's a wood box on the art store. Usually they storage like wine bottles in here. But then I, what I did is just stain this all like the dark stain. And then I put a stencil on here. I did a, a one so I can show you guys how it ended up. And I bought some um, flowers at the art store or, I, or you can get them on the Dollar Tree store. But I think on the art store they give you more for, more for your money. So what I did here, I had several like cans from like bottles from uh, another shops that I had in the art store and uh, you can do your trays that goes on top of the of the table and this is how it will look with the chicken and then some small bottles these bottles are antique so you will find them in the art store usually they have some um so yeah that's those chickens that I brought and also I want to show you that usually they sell these chickens that are um, metal like like and they look really nice when you try to decor them and change the decoration on the box that goes in the metal. Let me show you guys so that's how it will look. I put on here like the stencil says bless I love the little the words and stuff. And also, if you don't want to uh, spend time on doing these boxes, um, they also usually have like several like containers like this. This is probably for uh, in in the middle of the table center. And then you can put your chickens, your flowers. And then something else in it. And a little duck. And this, this could be your home decor. I also get like this flowers on the ARC store. They were like 99 cents for a bunch of them. And I got this also, this tray that I putting all that stuff on. It was six dollars. Usually you find in Hobby Lobby this one's for like 15 to 35 bucks. And this was only six dollars. 
and then you can put a bunch of decoration on top and this this could be your home decor on the center of the table this was six dollars usually they're like 35 on the hobby lobby i also got this um centerpiece it was all glass and on christmas i went to the art store and bought this uh decoration and i noticed that it was lighting up so what I did was taking this uh, this uh, decoration that is around this um, this thing the lights up and what I'm, I'm gonna show you what I did because that one doesn't have any more um, lights but I think hold on usually they sell those in the art store but um. I use these uh, lights and put them inside of, of here. I already have one in there, but the battery is going down, so I'm gonna just change the batteries and I'm gonna show you how it will look pretty nice and colorful and bright inside of the decoration. And then we're gonna show you guys how it will look. So we're just gonna go around. And usually they sell this type of boxes on the art store. Um, this one was like $3. And this is how it will look. And this is my centerpiece of my living room. It looks really awesome because it has like cheaping and like all antique look. And it looks so awesome. So I really recommend every time you see like a decoration like this in the art store, think about that you can put some lights in it and it will look like magic happen. And also, also another thing that I found was this elk horn. You can use it for a centerpiece as well in those like wood um, centerpiece of that I showed you earlier. Also, another thing that I wanna show you was uh, this decoration. I got a, a, what's it called? A basket over here. So what I did, I was just putting this on this basket. I changed the flowers and I put some of them that I bought in the art store. And you just put it, um, close it to your bathroom and that will be a home decor, like a bathroom decor. And it looks really nice. I will show you a picture on top of how it really looks like. It is really awesome. And, I, and you can also use it your space where you can put those uh, toilet paper on on here and it, you will look your decor pretty nice and once again I bought more chickens up here they're really nice they usually have really vintage farmhouse style chickens as you can see this one it looks like a, a egg that is cracked it's really nice I love it and this could be on your middle part uh, decor of your table. I also bought these flowers to a wall. It was 99 cents for these flowers and then you can decor them like everywhere, like on your centerpiece. Also, I found these old antique um, books that you can get a decor in one corner of your house and your downstairs living room or in your upstairs living room or even in your kitchen. It looks really nice and I have another picture on top that it will show you 
how you can redo them like as a farmhouse. You just cover it and then put a stencil up here. I'll show you a picture on top. Um, I also found this giveaway piece. Um, this was this was only one ninety nine. It's a farmhouse style and it's really cheap for what will you find in the uh, Hobby Lobby. I also found this uh, chicken cage. Chicken. I am. I want chicken. No. <laughs> now uh, I found this cage and it's um, a bird cage, and then you can paint it white and distress it and put some like lights as that one. It will look pretty nice for some centerpiece on your table. That's what I usually do with those ones. And I have one more thing to show you guys. So I found this too as well. It's a little house thing. It's really nice. I wanted to keep it, but then my decor is not matching the, the style and I don't have space to put it. So I might be selling this one. I can resell this one for 25 bucks. You cannot find this small things in the um, in the regular decor anymore because I think this is antique or something. Not antique, but vintage or something. And also, like usually, you find this type of stuff in the art store, and they're ready to go. Like you can put them outside of your house. You can hang on uh, all antique windows. They look pretty neat. And the, usually those uh, were uh, worth like 20 to 35 bucks. And this is like the realistic flowers that you bought at the Hobby Lobby for 40 bucks, something like that, to get this type of thing. Um, another thing that I found was um, that I was very interested on was this chicken. I really love it when I saw it. Like, he moved his legs like that and stuff like that. And then he can move his wings. I don't know, I thought it was pretty good finding because it looks so funny and it's only wood make. And uh, one more thing. So I found this also. This is for farmhouse decor. I also find it like a giveaway. You can sell it like for um, probably $10. They're really fun and you can just put them on your kitchen. Almost all my house is decor from uh, the stuff I do and some of the stuff I um, sell and uh, invest on the art store too. And this is a paper organizer. There was this one was a giveaway too as well. Because I say giveaway because um, it's already done. I can just post it whatever, and then I just put my papers in those pockets. And it is farmhouse style because it has a distress and it's ready to use. I also found this beautiful. Um, I'm gonna show you this one first. So I don't know if you guys seen the um, the coffee places. Like uh, it has a little furniture on the bottom, and then you can hang those like the cups in here. Like let me show you how this works. So that's how it works. Like this, put on the on the kitchen, and then you just hang it. This was only three bucks. You can sell it for like 10 bucks. It's really neat because usually you can find this type of stuff in the Hobby Lobby and it's three times more expensive than it will cost in the art store. Um, another thing that I want to show you guys that I was, I was pretty amazed to find this. 
is this um, cage. It's really big so you can barely see it here. It's like a house cage. And as well as you can do, like put some flowers, you can put some uh, lights inside, or you can do it like a wedding uh, design in there. This one's only seven bucks. You can even sell it for 30 with wedding decorations and stuff. And if they, I'm pretty sure they will buy it. 30 to 45 bucks. That will save you money and they invest money. Another cool thing that I found in the art store that I was so amazed to find was this um, this piece over here and this other one. Isn't it cool? Like sometimes you buy like pretty fun stuff and then you just buy it because they're really nice. You can put flowers in there and then just put it as a center piece. That's a farmhouse style and it's really nice. I really love in this. I love this. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna sell it. Because it's rarely you will find this type of stuff in the art store. So also like it is easy for to decor your house in a cheaper way because you can find all that stuff like in the art store for a pretty good price. I think it was this was like $2.99. And then you can resell it for five to, to 15 bucks. And it's all in perfect shape. What else I can tell you guys? Oh, I got this other piece. Um, I was thinking on this piece, probably paint it white and distress it. Let me open it for you guys. It has a different like type of wood containers. They have like wood craft for you bring a little It has cool designs on the on the wood it's really nice I just need to do like a type type of refinish on it I'm gonna probably uh, make a video of it when I finish it right now it's just snowing out there so I not be able to finish something with you guys but um, so yeah that's that's pretty much what I have right now for you guys Thank you guys for watching, for your support, and don't forget to like and subscribe.
Uh, don't forget to watch the video on April 10th for the raffle. We haven't reached the 2,500 subscribers. We choose about an 80, 800. So we're, I might have to figure out something out if I do it before or if I change it for less subscribers while I give you guys time to um, subscribe. Um, hope you guys enjoy and thank you guys for seeing you guys again.